What's going on everyone? This is Saber Wolf 4 and I have an uh, Alola Muck Garbodor expanded match here to show you guys. I should have been focusing more on the standard format to be honest. I don't mean to show so much expanded content, but it just seems like I'm at, I am at my best when I show expanded stuff, like I get the best matches. I've got more decks to show in expanded. It's just a card pool like that. Uh, better, I guess, bigger, more problems, but it's because I don't have everything I need in standard ever. Hopefully this changes with Sword and Shield, uh, but we'll see. And I open up, I've got a decent hand here to be honest, got the two Alolan and Grimers, uh, no Trubbish to put the Psychic Energy on, which sucks a little bit. Uh, but we're going to go with the N, fix our hand, and there's the Trubbishes, no supporter though, but I do have the Trainer's Mail. And my opponent has opened up with this Ultra Necrozma. This dude and all of its variants are everywhere in Expanded. I swear to God, it just seems like I went from all Mewtwo decks, Mewtwo GX decks, to seeing this guy. Whether he's with uh, Arceus, whether he's without Arceus, whether he's with Garbodor, whether with whether he's with the Psychic Alola Mach. It just seems like he's everywhere and he's a pain in the ass. Such an unfair card. I mean, when I reviewed it, I never thought about Silent Lab and Expanded, but I guess I should have. When there's just so many cards in Expanded, especially, you can't think of all the combos and all of the interactions unless they're just fresh in your mind and very obvious. But uh, it's obviously broken with Silent Lab. Uh, just all of the stuff, you know, being able to make an attack with just one double colorless, you know, double dragon energy DC, I guess. And this carton energy, do 170. I mean, just look at this shit. Jesus. God. And with Arceus, it's even worse. But anyway, he gets the prize there. And it seems like he has... He's running this dude with uh, Giratina for some reason. I don't get why, but he's in there. And what we're going to do, because we're still not ready yet, uh, we got to use a little Grimer to recruit more of the other Grimers. Go with N. I really hate doing this. I'm giving him so many free cards. He didn't have anything there. But we got to do what we got to do. Play the Shrine. Get rid of his Stadium and hopefully that amounts to something. Um, you know, this deck obviously runs a maximum amount of the Silent Lab. It's just your go-to card. And that Goose Mahala supporter just works perfect. It's like this is the only deck it works perfectly with. Getting you the Double Dragon Energy. Getting you the Stadium. And then getting you a tool as well. So, goddamn. I mean, the price they pay is that they use the supporter and they have to discard two cards. So, they're not really drawing a lot of stuff. But, I mean, it just works. It's so busted. This deck is just it's just crazy, man. But anyways, let's see if I have a chance this time. Uh, Ultra Ball. Um, wonder what he's going to grab. It's got all of the other Ultra Necrozmas there. It's got the Garbodor too to bring out the, well, his, uh, well, the Trubbish to bring out his Garbodor, what I meant to say. And there's the Tapu Lele GX. I'm guessing he's going to try and surge Guzmahala with this. Uh, he won't be able to get the maximum plus, but I guess he is going to be able to search out a stadium. Yeah, I'm just glad that we don't have like a terraforming sort of a, uh, item for Pokemon like there is in Yu-Gi-Oh that lets you just search out stadiums or field spells over there. Anyway, I mean there is that coin flip one that just gives you a 50% chance to grab a stadium. But there's another KO on the Grimer and I think it's about time we went on the offensive. I gotta use my my uh, Garbodors now. So go with the Chorus, it's gonna give us the best chance to see what we need. It's always a bit of risk, and you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Didn't see anything. Shit. So I guess I'm going to use the nest ball. Grab another one of these, and what are we doing now? I'm going to use the field blower, and hopefully this buys me a turn. I know that he only has just the prize he got from the not god, and I just discarded a Trubbish that probably helped him. He would have drawn a useless card. But I hope I I get I get I get a bit lucky here and he misses a turn of attacking since they do rely on that silent lap so much. 
I mean, he only has two cards in hand. I just hope he doesn't do anything. If he's taking a little bit of time, then maybe I'm lucky. I mean, I mean, Jesus, this deck, Jesus. So next turn, though, we gotta we gotta get some stuff 100%. I gotta be getting the Garbodors. So Floatstone, uh, that's interesting, and he's gonna promote the Giratina. I guess you're gonna use that dude to attack. I mean, it's actually a great thing. Uh, I would really like to kill this guy and get three prizes just like that it should be pretty simple uh, get me back in the game I have no idea why he's running this dude I mean I don't know if it's part of the variant of another sort of variant usually when I see this sort of deck they pair it up with Arceus which is so busted but I think I I focused on that long enough so get the heavy ball finally at Garbodor I'm gonna be able to make my attack and get the Ditto too. Ditto, to be honest, really sucks when they're running so many silent laps. So I'm just going to keep it in hand and see what happens. Only 120 damage. But at least I'm doing something now. Uh, let's see, let's see. I hope he doesn't bring out the Garbodor. Uh, that's going to suck even more. But we might, we might have a little bit of time. Uh, I don't think he has a lot going on. There's the Skyla. So I guess he can search another one of his stadiums this way. I mean, if he's clever, he's going to go for a supporter. But perhaps he's greedy for that prize. A lot of the times I make this sort of uh, pretty hasty plays. Just get the stadium and then hope I get lucky with the prize that I get that is a supporter. So let's see what he's going to get. Uh, either the slow approach with the stadium or energy lotto I guess he's trying to get an energy uh, okay and he did get it a double dragon I suppose to make get that one hit knockout with uh, Giratina do the big attack suit yourself I'm gonna finish you off next turn that's for sure though for sure I, I really need to get like the Garbodor and I should have played the ditto now that I think about it I didn't think, I thought he was going to get his stadium for sure. But anyways, a little muck, and let's discard Via Seeker and Stretcher, that's good stuff. And it seems he does have the Arceus in the deck, so I guess you didn't see it just yet. And let's go for Cynthia, I gotta get the Garbodor 100%. And uh, we get the Stretcher, not exactly what I wanted to see, but it's going to work out I suppose. I think if we get the knockout on this dude... I don't believe I used many Garbodors yet, so maybe just three. Uh, three is going to get me the job done. Three more or four more. So, Psychic Energies come over here with the ladder. And surprisingly, I'm not doing too bad. I guess that one turn of Stalin helped out. Uh, now we're back in the game. I mean, if he used the Arceus GX attack, then it would have been over. Uh, when Arceus uses that attack, and you're using a non, a non GX uh, deck, where you're hoping that your opponent is just going to get single prizes, even if they not keep knocking them out in one shot, then it's actually just worse. You're better off having high HP and healing, like in Dark Box, because it's just too good. You know, they waste a turn, they spend a turn to activate that GX effect. But then, they're just going to get two prizes, three knockouts on your small Pokemon, and they win. So it's insane. Now, my opponent is going to go with N. Uh, it did disrupt me, but, you know, it's not like he drew a lot of cards, too. So there's the Garbodor. Uh, do you have a tool, though? That's the question. That is the question. Mm, it's got the Floatstone on the Ultra Necrozma. But you would want that on Garbodor now, huh? So just two cards in hand. You know, this guy has been consistently working with a low hand. Uh, it's the price you pay when you use the Goose Mahala, I guess. But the deck is just so explosive. You know, they do that. And if they start getting those 170 attacks off quickly while you're trying to set up and shit, a lot of decks just are basically going to crumble. So he does have quite a few resources over there. 
but I think he should still have enough stuff left in the deck. And it's just going to give me another turn and just retreat onto the other Ultra Necrozma as a sacrifice there. And it's perfect. I'm going to change up his hand. Maybe that was bad, but I need to dig for stuff too. we got to get the other Garbodors. Don't want to be in a situation where he knocks out my dudes and I'm left with nothing. And let's see. Get the knockout too. And before you know it, I'm in the lead now, and I should be able to outpace him. I think at this point, even if he uses Arceus's GX attack, I should be good to go. We just need to get more items in this Discrepa, I think. And I evolved into the Garbodor using the Ditto, just in case he plays Silent Lab and that Pokemon becomes dead. So, so far, so good. Uh, before you know it, we're back in the game. It's not going to happen always against this deck. I mean, this dude just made a few mistakes, I think. Maybe a little bit unlucky. But, you know, this deck definitely is the deck to beat right now, I would say. These Ultra Necrozma decks, uh, in Expanded at least. So, let's see. going to go with Cynthia. Uh, he's got the Dragon Energy. He's got some stuff. And Fighting Fury Belt on the Garbodor. You know, that was a close one, because he played the Float Stone on the other guy first. Anyway, yeah, weird stuff. So get your knockout. There goes the Garbodor. But we're going to respond with another Garbodor. I've got another one in hand. So I think I have him in a checkmate position at this point. I'm actually going to use the N. It's going to hurt him more than me. I've got my attackers. I just don't want to see you get an Arceus or something. That could be nasty. And even the third Garbodor, so pretty much this is GG. Uh, I don't think there's a way for him to come back. Here's another knockout on you. And okay, you'll be able to make another attack, but I'll be able to finish you off. So pretty damn close. You know, he was just... Just that one or two turns he missed that he couldn't attack is basically what allowed me to win. Otherwise, he would have won by now. But I guess it's the price to pay when you use a Pokemon like Ultra Necrozma. So get your Luster of uh, Downfall, whatever the hell it's called, and Garbodor for the finishing touch here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Saber054, and what's up?